Welcome back to another episode on Attack of the Colognes. It's your boy Ruben, and on today's video, we're going to be reviewing a new fragrance by the house of Le Falcone, and this is called Muharib or Muharib. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Forgive me for that, but let's get right into the this review. This fragrance comes in this beautiful box. I usually don't care about the presentation about the box or anything like that, but this is some real good looking stuff, and I believe it's because it's part of their niche collection, so this brand, I guess, they're, you know, trying to go all out. It comes in this bottle with like the Trojan head or the Spartan head, similar to the other Le Falcone fragrance that I have. Definitely the same bottle, same size, everything. This one's just red and gold. I did wear this last night and it lasted about 10 hours on my skin. And what I could tell you straight off the bat is that this is something that is perfect for like a date night during the winter time or a day out during the winter time. Like this just reminds me of that. This gives me those vibes. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it so I can refresh my memory. And yes, guys, this isn't a straight depart from it. Look at these atomizers. The atomizer has to be good on your fragrance. Look at this, look at this. Y'all see that? Look, 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 I'm gonna spray it from here. And it still hits the texture strip. And this is like a foot away. Okay, yeah, so this opens up very dark. If you're not a fan of dark fragrances, this is not gonna be for you. There's something leathery going on in here. There's a whole bunch of spices in here. Some sweetness, like a, like a sweet, spicy, woodsy fragrance guys this is just luxury in a bottle like you can't just wear this on any regular day like so this isn't on fragrantica but the notes are in the best brands perfume website so i'm going to read the notes off of that and the notes are saffron nutmeg black pepper patchouli virgin balsam sandalwood leather oud cedarwood and labdamum but yes you get that beautiful spicy opening from that saffron nutmeg black pepper you definitely get a whole lot of leather and oud here this is nothing to play with guys. This leans towards the category of animalic. This is a very strong fragrance. Like you cannot wear this on a day to day. Like unless you're some type of rich Middle Eastern dude, <laughs> I won't be able to see anybody else rocking this on a day to day basis. This is super oriental. And the way that all the notes work in here, it almost gives it like a, now I'm gonna say this and it might sound crazy, but it feels like it creates like a velvet-like accord. Like if fragrances could have a texture to them, this feels velvety. It feels luxurious. It feels, it almost feels like you could touch the fragrance if that makes any sense. Maybe I'm just tripping guys, but comment down below if you know what I'm saying. If I were to put an age range to this fragrance, definitely 25 and over. If you're under 25 years old, you have no business wearing something like this. I can't even imagine someone under the age of 25 liking a fragrance like this, honestly. And like always, guys, stay healthy, get rich, and smell amazing while doing it. And pray for me, bros, because I've been sick lately. I'm trying to get over like this cold. It's been like almost a week going on too. So yeah, keep me in your prayers. Love you guys. Peace. Let's go. Yeah, I seen it all that little, say no longer excite me. The